World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. of the Lord. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Can Jesus you say amen? amen? Really let the peace of Jesus Christ be unto you. Say I receive. Praise the Lord. Really we give thanks to the Lord when we are together again. No overdose in the blessings of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because in every service we receive the blessings. Hallelujah. And every service is a new service, very unique. Praise the Lord. So, when you want Jesus Christ to work in your life, avail yourself to the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know that some of you really you are looking for jobs. You are doing different things for you to get the job. Let me encourage you. The blessings here. His name is Jesus Christ. Christ. Praise the Lord. But after Jesus Christ has blessed you, what are you going to do in the kingdom of the Lord? Because a vow is very important. When you are here in the kingdom of God, prepare yourself to live in the kingdom. Not passing in the kingdom, going somewhere. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we read together the book of Hebrews chapter 2? And we shall read verse 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we are going to listen the word of God when God will be speaking with us under this topic which says God remembered us. When we are here, it's because God remembered us. Also you, when you are here, God remembered you. And again, in your life, when you are living here on earth, Make God to continue to remember you by keeping yourself in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know that when you are bound by chains, of things, you need the help. Some you don't know where the help will come from. But you are here in the house 
which is having your answer. This is the service of the Lord Jesus. God will remember you. Also you who have been told that you are nothing here on earth. God remembered you and God will remember you. Also you who are struggling, fighting many wars in the businesses. God will remember you in your business. As he has remembered us, and he gave us Jesus Christ, who came as a Savior and the Lord. So when we are living in Christ Jesus, Really, let us make God to remember us always. Is by what we will be doing in this life. If you are pleasing God daily, if you are making yourself to be seen and to be known by the heart of Jesus every day, Know that really this Jesus Christ was with Lord Jesus Christ will never leave you nor forsake you. Why? Because his eyes are on you. You see, it's very difficult for a thief. When the thief wants to steal something, if the owner of that thing is looking at that thing, it will be difficult for thief to steal and run away. Because when the thief will be coming next, you say, hey, 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 go away, go away. Away from my things. When the eyes of Jesus Christ are on your life, whatever darkness is planning to steal from you, the Lord Jesus Christ himself will command the darkness to go away from you. Say amen. Amen. Let us read the word of God. We are reading Hebrews chapter 2 verse 5 to 8. It is not to angels that he has subjected the world to come, but which we are speaking. But there is a place where someone has testified. What is mankind that you are mindful of them? A son of man that you care for him. You made them a little lower than the angels. You crowned them with glory and honor. And put everything under their feet. Begunga zona isi ngelosi abege ngapanti kwa zo izwe elizayo. Elo eskulu mangalo. Gotwa omunye efagasa kwenye ndao eti. Umu yinu muntu uguba umtabange. Noma indota na yomuntu uguti uina gegele. Umenze wabanga pansana kwezi ngelosi. Wamkelisa ngotumo nengazi mulo. Wabega gonke ngapanzi kwezi nyao zake. Ekbege ni gonke ngapanzi kwake. Aguku akshilo ngeko ngapanzi kwezi nyao zake. Gotwa ogoskati samanje asboni gonke gunga panzi gwake. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you put everything under their feet. Wabega gonke nga panzi gwezi nyawaza. Oh. The word of God says. Litis lankulunkulu. What is mankind. O yinu muntu. That you are mindful. In other words, when God looks at a man, he is mindful about the life of men. He is mindful about your life. Even though you are lower 
than the angels. You are lower, you are little. No than the angels. But it's so amazing when we are seeing that God is attracted by man. Even though he is seated on the throne where there are thunders, where there are lightnings, but God is still attracted by man. Who is living down in there on earth. And when God is looking at the man, God is saying, What can I do for a man? Oh, what man needs now from me? How can I help the man now? How can I heal the man? And God remembered us by giving us Jesus Christ as a great connection. Because through Jesus Christ, we are connected straight to God. And the eyes of God Almighty are being attracted by us. How much more now when the blood of his son was shed yet? How much more? Oh, for those now who are living by the name of Jesus Christ, when God is looking at them, he is seeing the blood of his son. Amen. Amen. God cannot be attracted by ropes. Cannot be attracted by the sprays. When people are spraying powers on them, God is attracted only. By the blood of his son. So blessed are those who are connected with Jesus Christ. Because when God is looking at you, God wants to help you. Can you touch yourself and say, God wants to help me. In all my things, this God wants to help me. Clap hands for Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who have found Jesus. Blessed are those who have found the grace. Blessed are those who have found the greatest name, the name of Jesus Christ. Because it's only through this name when they will receive more answers from God the Father. God remembered us indeed. God remembered us indeed. When the devil was still roaring like a lion, when he is not the real lion, when the devil was making us to be scared, God remembered us. Right there in your life. When you are looking around you, your life and seeing as if there is no change. God is addressing you today. And God is speaking with you. He says there will be change. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. There will be change. God remembered us. Glory to Jesus. Our point number one is says, He minds about us. He minds about you. Hallelujah. That is why you are seeing him delivering non-stop. There is no one who can put the bricks. 
of deliverances and restoration. The demons are trying, but they are not winning, they are failing every day. Hallelujah. When you are delivered from your sin, the same God will continue to deliver you and deliver all your things. And again, when darkness will be throwing something against your success, the power of God will keep on delivering you. Why? Because he minds about you. Amen. Amen. He is the father who minds about his children. Hallelujah. He minds about us. When he is looking at us, he wants to help us. He wants to teach us. He wants us to know more and more about his kingdom. Blessed are those who are walking with God when they are knowing. They are God. Very well. That they are God doesn't want this. Praise the Lord. God minds about us. But the time when you are not yet born again, God is minding about your life. How are you going to live in the eternal if you are not receiving Jesus Christ today. Jesus Christ is the door, he is the gate to eternal kingdom. That is why you see us preaching the gospel of Jesus. Also for those who are not knowing Jesus Christ to know the Lord Jesus. He is minding about your future. He is he is minding about your tomorrow. He is seeing your tomorrow today. He is minding about your blessings. He is minding about your success. Because when you are seated in the camp of the devil, the devil will continue to block you and to block you. But this God wants to take you out from the camp of the darkness and put you in the light. God minds about your life. Also right there in your marriage. He is also minding about your marriage. Because marriage is a good thing. It is God who started to bless the first marriage. And to declare it as a marriage, as a family, what as a couple. Hey, the bone of my bone. It started where? Right there in the marriage by God himself. Say amen. Amen. He is minding about your house. He is minding about your children. Glory to Jesus. When you are here, this God is blessing you. Because he wants you to have the bright future. That is why the power of God will follow the demons and kick them away. Away from your things. Also your CVs which are locked by the darkness. Today those knots will be broken. And get burned by the fire. And the demons will be crying. Why? Because God is minding about your life. Do not think that when you are here in the city of Johannesburg, not working, God is happy about that or is pleased about that. No. God wants you to live in your blessings. These are the blessings which he himself created and made for you. See, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
you will see miracles by this God. Also when you are getting into your car, he is minding about you and your car. All your things, he is minding about you and your things. That's why now we are living in this overflowing grace. This is the grace which when you receive the fire, if I say receive the fire now, don't think that is ending here. No! Even by the time when you are fast asleep, this fire will be flowing like a river, covering all your things. Also, the things still to come. This fire will go straight and welcome them because you are a child of the kingdom. All your things must be marked by the fire. All your things must be marked by the blood of Jesus. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is minding about also the present life. The present life. Yes, the future life. The present life. And all your things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. One day the spirits they asked me this question. Tell us why are you always sleeping in the fire? Eating fire, wearing fire, whatever you do, you do in the fire. Tell us, whom are you afraid? Whom are you afraid? Are you not trusting yourself? Are you not trusting your protection? Every day you depend on fire, on fire. I man. Put things of fire away. And stand by yourself. You must show them who you are. Then I said, never. The spirits, they say, Are you afraid? Of whom are you afraid? So why are you always ripping yourself with the fire for <laughs> We try to check what are you eating. <laughs> then we didn't see. <laughs> but we can hear that you are eating. <laughs> but when we look, we can't see. <laughs> we see the fire. <laughs> Are you learning something? Immediately when you are born again, received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with you always. This is the scripture. The Holy Spirit is with you always. In such a way that God himself is making also darkness to see that hey, the fire is with you always. Why? He is minding about your present life. Here in the kingdom of Jesus, we don't sing the songs for the graves, for the funerals. When we say, we will see there when we arrive there. That's how we will know what we are working for. No, we know now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When we know now that this God is with us, we know that he will be with us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the funerals, you will hear people saying that. 
I, we are escorting you. We say go well there. And prepare for us. Prepare for us. Oh, what? What? Somebody who was a drunkard, not knowing the door of the church. Now because that person has passed away, you have folded your hands. Prepare for us. A human being, he failed to prepare for himself. Say, I'm busy preparing for my life now. I'm busy preparing for my life, for my present life, and for my future. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And again, we see others when they are busy with the funeral in the <inaudible> graveyard. Some, they come with money. <inaudible> this is his money. <inaudible> Let him go <inaudible> with his money. <inaudible> he will buy there. <inaudible> Where? <inaudible> Where? Who told you that there are shops there? Huh? <laughs> Busy speaking with the Greek.